Linda at Linda's Pantry and we're outside. It's a crisp fall morning. And I just wanted to bring you out because I'm getting ready to go feed the chickens. I'm, uh, it's September, early September, and we are looking at the garden and I seriously am going, okay, this is a garden that's trying to go to bed, if that makes sense to you, or at least the summer vegetables. So I picked heavily on this rhubarb over here, and um, it's it's just now snapping back and adding new leaves, and I'll probably get another picking, maybe even two, depending on our frost date. Um, we've got still got kale back there, the chicken's kale. I've got a whole handful of grape leaves and uh, Swiss chard from the front yard that I'm going to take to them, but. As you can see, that Swiss chard's doing beautifully. Um, the little green beans in the pots, they're all doing fair. They're not doing amazing, but they are doing fair. And so, um, we are looking at little cherry tomatoes. Oh, and today, guys, guess what I'm making? Tomato jam. I picked a bunch of tomatoes last night and I've got a few to pick tonight. And if I have to add some organic tomatoes from the store, I'm okay with that. Okay, so here are potatoes and there are squash plants in there. They're not gonna do anything. They're actually trying to flower right there. Look at that. Oh, we might get something, little baby squashes. <laughs> um, the brandy wine, it's flowering at the top. There's not enough time for that plant to get anything so I'm kind of sad about that anyway um, the garden now I'm using my big camera so bear with me um, tomatoes these tomatoes I'll pick these this afternoon for my tomato jam um, these cucumber plants here are gonna go. There's nothing on them. There's no hope of them producing anymore. And they didn't do all that great because of whatever bugs got on there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two plants and quit watering them. And, but down here, this cucumber plant is doing fantastic. These are slicing cucumbers, so I've got to get in here and pick all this dill. It's all ready to be dehydrated. Um, but as you can see, the garden is just huge. And let's see, zucchini, we do have some to pick. Um, so here's another one on this potted zucchini plant. See that? So it is possible to grow a zucchini in a pretty small pot. That pot is not that big. But next year, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do container zucchini, and I'm gonna do it in bigger pots, just because. Now, this was interesting, and I should have saved it. That center zucchini plant, I'm trying to see where it is, my finger. That center one there, I'll use the leaf. That was a volunteer, and the um, I always plant the Romanesca variety of zucchini. And as you can see, there's one right there. But the one that that plant over here produced looked more like a gray zucchini, like a Mexican variety. And I don't ever plant that, so I don't know if that was from cross-pollination or what. So here we have more zucchini to pick today which is fantastic. There's even one in there hiding. Um, we're gonna be making my zucchini bread and uh, I'm doing a stir fry for dinner. So look at all these beautiful onions. Fantastic. We've got onions. I picked a yellow squash. Um, I will say my garden this year has been very, very, um, much less than what it usually is. I, it was very far behind and um, it hasn't produced near what I usually get out of it. So, okay, so I'm gonna try to steady my hand. This camera's heavy. Um, <clears throat> plenty of carrots here. They're doing fantastic. And look at those green bean plants. 
took forever to get that started, but now that they're going, good gracious, we are, there we go. Those green beans are gonna give me some. They're flowering, it's, it's wonderful. So they do really well with carrots in there. And then this tomato plant, um, it's doing good. Little, little tiny romas, I've picked a few. As you can see there, they're, they're pretty tiny. So, um, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited though that it's actually producing. So, let's see. We are going over to these beans. Now, these are bush beans. And again, they, I crowded them too much, but um, it was an experiment and I still got quite a few beans off of them. And in fact, there's some baby ones in there right now. So we'll use those. This bed over here, we're gonna rehab totally next year. Um, the beans didn't do well. The only thing that did well in there is parsley and rhubarb. <laughs> and Strut wants out, but he's not getting out. Let's go feed the chickens. And I hope that the sun doesn't glare here. And I'll give you a walk to the raspberries. And here we go. Oh my gosh. People, look at these. I have been picking. It started out about a quart or two cups every other day. And then it went to a quart every other day. And now um, two days in a row, I've picked a quart of berries. Um, I doubt that I'll pick tonight. I picked pretty heavy last night. But tomorrow, all those berries that are in there that are turning will be ready. Look at all those. I think I have about two gallon bags full of berries in the freezer and this side as well. And for those of you that haven't followed me before, this started out, that side over there started out three years ago. This is the third year, the third season. Uh, uh, three years ago, I put in 10 bare root raspberry ever bearing. And then the next year, I put in 10 along this fence. And that's what's happened. It's exploded and I have this beautiful little berry patch. And what I'm gonna have my husband do either this fall or next spring is rototill right down the middle to keep that clear and um, then we have a nice little berry patch for the grandkids and for us and it produces tons of berries and there's actually blackberries down there too um, they haven't produced this year but they've sure gone crazy so now I'll show you okay here we go um, this is my little fall garden bed, one of them, and let's see what we have here. We have onions around the edges, and I've got lettuces in the middle. I've got broccoli rob down there on the end. I've got broccoli rob, and there's a couple kale. I've got to get some more kale seeds and throw in here. I did plant cabbage and uh, kohlrabi as well, but it doesn't look like the little baby cabbages are doing anything so we'll plant some more of that and the kohlrabi is a purple variety that's why those leaves look kind of purpley at the or the stem but look at the butter lettuce i'm super excited we're cooling down to the 80s now yay and look at the girls okay yesterday i needed them to stay in and they all escaped <laughs> so they got to free range all day and i was worried about what they were going to get into but they didn't do any damage so here's another bed and this is um, I as my last video I said the only asparagus that came up was that one but look shortly thereafter came up that little guy and down at the end there's a couple uh, let's see right there and there, right there so we are getting the asparagus is popping up in this bed and then we'll be transplanting too but I want to wait till after all the carrots are picked and all these onions are out of here so these are all carrots in the center and carrots you can um, mulch over them with straw and um, winter them over so um, and we're going to leave that i'm going to plant when we get back from our hunting trip 
we're gonna go ahead and plant our garlic and shallots in there and my pear trees are still fantastic or my pear tree I should say and, oh Ragnar is having a pity party so let's feed the girls oh sorry about the movement hi girlies hi girls oh my goodness how'd you do how'd you do last night that one's getting chilly oh look it they have a, a butternut squash i'm locking the gate you guys are not escaping today butternut squash cantaloupe threw a couple pears there's a cantaloupe over there they get after it here's some grape leaves and um swiss chard so they like the swiss chard they love the grape leaves so by the end of the day, that'll all be gone. They can mess around with it. You want some goodies? Goody goodies for the girlies. Okay. And what I usually do is, sorry about the movement here. Now, for you guys that like to watch and it makes you dizzy to see these kind of videos, go ahead and give the YouTube uh, a little bit of a watch and then come back later because I will amend the video through YouTube. I cannot do it until I upload the video, but they will fix the movement. Um, so it comes out much smoother once they've fixed it. I don't have a, I don't have the technology to fix it. Well, these girls are hungry, huh? Some scratch too. Okay, so no eggs yet they're afternoon layers but see they did a number on that cantaloupe okay girls enjoy your day i'll be back um so part of september's preparedness month is um is here and so part of it is going to be getting things outside ready for winter and preparing for the you know till the next season and um and the next step in our little journey but i wanted to uh bring you out and show you what's going on out in the gardens and the Probably yard the and crisp and ball nip in the air so you guys i'll leave a poll card in the about section below there'll be um garden videos a playlist for you so you can go look at that if you want to and look at that beautiful red lettuce that's in here that's going to be delicious i can't wait and the butter lettuce mm -hmm. and this is the uh col no the broccoli rob so i'm excited and i do have a couple little kale right that's kale right there but i I'd, I'd like it all the way down here and maybe we'll do some more not um some swiss chard over there because that's a good winter vegetable as well until you get that hard frost all right guys so i hope it inspires you to get outside enjoy your yard and start putting things to bed if you're in the area i'm in northern nevada so i have a very short growing season we're we're nearing the end and uh we need to take advantage of everything we have and i'm hoping that ooh, I say a green bean. I'm hoping that um, we have enough time to let these big romas here, uh, the Heinz variety romas, to get some color on them and get us some tomato sauce in the canner. But as you can see, my husband's working on the on the trailer. Got to get ready for a big hunting trip. Going to Idaho. You guys want to go? <laughs> If you want to see some video of when we go and all that good stuff, let me know. And I will, I'll bring you along. All right, guys. I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe, canning video, gardening update, or, hmm, let's see. <laughs> Maybe a dog video. We're going to have plenty of doggy videos out there while we're camping, I'm sure. All right, guys.